Somebody once said that capitalism is the worst system ever devised, except for all the others. And I agree with that. I'm Bob Pisani, and I'm the stocks correspondent for CNBC. Been there for 17 years. There's the New York Stock Exchange right there on the corner. That's Wall Street right here. And there really was a wall on Wall Street because that was the northern boundary of the city. But most of the activities of the buying and selling of stocks and bonds doesn't happen on Wall Street anymore. Wall Street has become really a state of mind rather than a physical place. I have to get up at 5 o'clock in the morning because I have to find out what the markets are doing and I have to understand it. OK, so are you going to handle reaching out to his people? I, I'm doing that now. I get about 1,000 emails a day. I have to go through what I call intellectual triage to essentially get through the morning. Thank you. Appreciate it. When you hear the word Wall Street, what does that mean to you? Uh, like the stocks and finance and all of that. I think of money and big banks. Men in business suits from the movies. I think uh, stock exchange. We know that the bull is down there. <laughs> the first time I heard about Wall Street when I saw that movie, um, Wolf of Wall Street. Too much. It doesn't mean a whole lot to me. I'm sure it should. Well, what Wall Street means today, besides the narrow little street in downtown New York, um, it's the American financial market. And so it's anything to do with capital investment, banking, that's all Wall Street, even though it may take place in Los Angeles or San Francisco or, you know, Pango Pango, for that matter. People ask me if I ever get nervous about being on TV. I never get nervous. I'm in a constant state of mild agitation all the time. Wall Street is a place where people go to invest in their future. Now, you might say, well, I don't own stocks or bonds, and I, it doesn't really matter. It does matter. The state of the economy, what the interest rates are, how these companies are doing, they affect your life and your livelihood. Wall Street affects everybody, uh, whether they know it or not. They may not trade stocks themselves, but they're very likely to have, say, a 401k or a, a, be a beneficiary of a pension plan. Um, and the, all that money is invested in Wall Street. It's invested by somebody else for your benefit. Morning, guys. Because there's now electronic trading. The floor activity is only a fraction of what it used to be, but it's still a great thrill to walk in here every morning. Good morning, guys. And uh, the important thing is we're over 2,000 again. But as I talk to guys on the floor, there doesn't seem to be a lot of catalyst to keep it. The stock market at any one point in time is a snapshot of what all the different parties the buyers and sellers think is the value of the companies in America. Wall Street is basically the place and the people that you go to to finance a transaction. So the economy in many ways doesn't exist without Wall Street. So there's two headlines out of the Fed today. One, officials are saying that job gains might bring a rate rise sooner. And then the other headline is many Fed officials still see labor market far from fully normal. I'm Trish Regan. I'm an anchor here at Bloomberg Television. I do a show every day during the close of trading. What's to prevent other emerging markets from doing the exact same thing? What I think people need to know is Wall Street is Main Street, and Main Street is Wall Street. The two are completely intertwined. You know, the buildings we work in, the, the, the people we work for, the cars we drive, they're all connected to public companies. So a better car is made by a company that has better resources. Better resources are gained by being listed on a stock market. What might the effect be on, on the markets? It's all about you know, greasing the economy, providing capital to the economy, and bridging the gap between the saver, the individual investor, and the entrepreneur, the risk taker. If Wall Street is not funding businesses, well, that means that businesses can't grow. And that means the economy can't grow. And that means jobs can't grow. All right, I'm good. I mean, Wall Street is the place and the people and the institutions that are providing the financing, the money, for all the businesses around the country, for all of Main Street to exist, to grow, to thrive. I am Trish Regan, and Street Smart starts now. But like any industry, it overreaches. And, and in this case, because it's so tied into all of our lives, when Wall Street overreaches, when Wall Street cheats, when Wall Street stumbles, it affects all of us, and we all lose because of it. Wall Street's worst week ever, the Dow plunging 700 points. There's no question that the 2008 recession was really a punch in the stomach to the US economy and to the people of the United States. 
Wall Street definitely has an image problem. Wall Street giant Lehman Brothers filed for Chapter 11 protection, by far the largest U.S. bankruptcy ever. You just think back over the last several years, everything from 2008 to Bernie Madoff. And when people see this, they think to themselves, why should I buy stocks? Why should I buy bonds if the whole system is rigged by this cast of characters? We lost 8 million jobs in 2008. That is very serious, and we're still struggling. We've gotten them back, basically, but we're still struggling with the consequences of that. Wall Street has always had its share of crooks, and so when a great scandal like Bernie Madoff breaks, people tend to associate that with Wall Street. That becomes part of the image of Wall Street, that it's a bunch of Bernie Madoffs. Well, of course it's not, because it, it couldn't work if it were. Um, but it, there are crooks, and there always will be, and yes, you have to be careful. The anger is justified, but I think that the ratio of good bankers to bad bankers is not that different from the ratio of good teachers to bad teachers, uh, good bus drivers to bad bus drivers. Um, there are plenty of honest people in that profession, plenty of people who are just as outraged at the behavior of some of their colleagues as those on Main Street. Yields keep dropping. Anything else? Do you want to do earnings? Yeah, I'll do Best Buy. There's certain companies that I like to cover, like Best Buy. Best Buy has been left for dead for a long, long time. Everybody figures, oh, everybody will go buy electronics on Amazon or something. Right. Ready when you are, Bob. But very quietly, that's a company I kind of root for. Let's talk about Best Buy. Everybody gave it up for dead earlier in the year, but it went from $25 to $30. It's a scrappy player. I mean, in a society in which no one ever takes any risk, nothing ever happens. Economies fall flat, and so investment banks when they're acting in their best faith, provide a very important role. They match up money with risk, and it creates dynamism in the economy. It, it creates chances for individuals and entities that want to grow. The fact is we need capitalism. We need Wall Street. Uh, it allows us to spread risk around in a way that if you didn't, no one would take that risk. It's, it's very basic stuff. Why would I invent this new drug or this new uh, digital music player or this new car or spaceship if it's all on me and I'm the only one who's going to lose money on this? Where does Facebook come from? Uh, how was Google created? How did Tesla make it? All these companies made it because they went public. They were able to connect to the saver, to basically access their money to take risks. When you're the markets reporter, you're always on. Do you think this is sort of lack of conviction right now? So what do you think? What do you think is going to happen in the next few months? So what could go wrong? I guess that's what everybody keeps asking. I'm a gigantic poll taker, essentially, about where the economy and where the stock market is going. It all sounds very nice, but as you can see, the street isn't particularly buying into it. Right now, the S&P is sitting exactly at 2,000. Guys, back to you. The U.S. economy continues to really be the beacon in lots of ways for everyone all around the world. And the stock market is really just a reflection of that. The American capital market is the most vibrant capital market in the world, still is and probably will be for a very, very long time to come. Over 225 years or so of Wall Street's existence, it has been a positive influence far more often than it's been a negative influence. It has been a, a major reason why the American economy grew so spectacularly into by far the largest and richest economy the world has ever known. Without Wall Street, that would not have happened.